Hi everyone, if you're new here, my name is Hannah. I am the owner and artist behind the business called Hannah Banana Creations, where I make upcycled home decor, furniture flips, DIYs, all kinds of things to sell in my shop, locally here in Fairfield, Iowa, as well as on my website. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how I took some reclaimed wood and combined it with some redesign with Prima products and made this amazing reclaimed wood Christmas tree wall hanging. So stay tuned to see how this creation came to life. I'm located in Iowa, so I have a lot of access to scrap pieces of barn wood like this one, and I thought it'd be a perfect piece to use for a Christmas project. This piece of barn wood is going to be the background of the project, so I needed a contrasting color to go against the green tree I was going to put on top of it. I did a red dry brush look on this piece because I still wanted to keep like the weathered look of the barn wood and the dry brush look is the perfect way to do that. To get the wood tones to match in the background on this piece, I did this brown glaze all over and then sprayed some water on it to smooth it out. I took four different sized pieces of reclaimed wood to create a Christmas tree that was going to set on top of the red barn wood I just painted. I used this deep forest green color to paint my reclaimed wood pieces. That way it would kind of resemble the looks of a Christmas tree. And then I'll be layering on other Redesign with Prima products to really make this piece pop. Next, I added this amazing stencil from Redesign with Prima. It is part of the CC Restyled line called Modern Deco and it's personally one of my favorite stencils. The paint I'm using for this stencil is this really awesome dark forest metallic color from the Finnebear Art Alchemy line. And when you're stenciling, you want to try to use a brush that is made for stenciling or a brush that has some really densely packed bristles. To keep your paint from bleeding underneath your stencil, you want to do multiple layers of light paint. And here comes the best part, which is the stencil reveal. To age these pieces a little bit, I added the antiquing glaze once again to make them match the barn wood that I was going to be placing them on. I just brush all of this on and then wipe it off with a lint-free cloth. If you don't have antiquing glaze on hand, you can still achieve the same look by doing another technique called a paint wash. For that, you would basically just take some brown paint and water it down really well until it's basically just like a glaze over your paint. Next, I made the little tree topper that was going to go on the very top piece of reclaimed wood. And I took this piece of cardboard and the Redesign with Prima decoupage gel to attach this little vintage doily that I thought would be a really cute vintage touch on this barn wood tree. This is just the bottom layer of the tree topper and I'll be adding more to it later in the video. I wanted to add little ornaments on the tree, so to do this, I used the Curio Trinkets Mold from Redesign with Prima. You get a lot of little different designs with this one mold, and that is why I thought it would be the perfect one to use for ornaments so I could have a lot of variety. I prefer to use resin for my molds. You can also use modeling clay, and if you use resin, you definitely want to make sure that you wear gloves and all the other proper gear, and also mix it really well in according to the directions. All resins are different. Here's a look at the resin molds I had poured after they had cured. These are the ones I'm going to be using as the ornaments and the snowflake will be used as the tree topper. To glam up these resin molds and to make them look like Christmas ornaments, I'm using the Finn and Bear Art Alchemy Sparks acrylic paint in the color Unicorn's Hair. And it is this really beautiful gold color. I'm telling you, these metallic paints are so beautiful and they're so pigmented. They are definitely a staple to have in your craft stash. Even though the little ornament pieces all looked different, I did want them to have a cohesive look, so I did paint them all in the gold color as well. And I'm busting out the antiquing glaze one more time to go over all the molds I just painted. That way the glaze will set into all the details and really make everything have this beautiful antiqued look. Now it's time to bring everything together. I took all the reclaimed wood pieces. I even added a little tree trunk at the bottom as well. I laid everything out exactly how I wanted it and then I used some Gorilla Glue construction adhesive to attach all the wood pieces to the barn wood. After all my wood pieces were attached, it was time to finish the tree topper. 
I took the snowflake mold and added some glue to the back and attached it to the little vintage lace cardboard piece I had made earlier. It's all about the layers, guys. When you add layers to your projects, you add a lot more interest and it will really make your piece unique and stand out from the rest. Here's how all my little curio trinket molds turned out after I painted and glazed them. They turned out so cute. They're going to make the perfect little Christmas ornaments for this piece. I laid them all out and arranged them how I thought they would look best. And I attached all the ornament pieces using a combination of construction adhesive glue as well as hot glue to make sure everything was really secure. And here is how this upcycled piece of art turned out. I absolutely love how it came out. I hope this inspires you to create some reclaimed art of your own. There are so many materials that we just throw away without even thinking about it. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I had a lot of fun creating this project with all my different redesign with Prima products. You can find all your products that I use in today's video um, on the Redesign with Prima website, so be sure to check it out. They have a very wide range of products to help you elevate your next DIY project, including molds, transfers, waxes, paints, and that's just to name a few. There's so much. So be sure to follow for more inspiration and ideas and follow to see what I create next. Bye, guys.